Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'll be teaching you how much of an importance of your projector choice could affect your eyesight. Yes, you can't put a price tag to your health, especially when it comes down to your eyes and your ears. These two things are the connections to the outer world, and they are quite important, as the rest of our body health. So, as a pharmaceutical engineer, Yes, you heard me right. I'm a professional photographer over 20 years. I have lots of experience with DPs and color grading over the years. I have lots of studios, a couple of studios, and I have huge amount of cameras, uh, projector arsenal at my disposal. So I have experience and I've been doing this for tech, tech reviewing probably about plus 10 years professionally before that. In my, uh, in my earlier time, a lot more. But as a pharmacist and a healthcare graduated guy, I know the importance of health with many of the problems uh, over the years that I've seen in hospitals and my also school life. So what I'm going to teach you in this video, if you go cheap, how can you hurt your eyes? What kind of problems that you can achieve on the long run? How much of an importance that a true projector or the TV choice that you can make in the long run to your eyes? So let's get dive into the topic why I brought a lot of cameras and lenses here. Simply because lenses are the most expensive parts of cameras. Sometimes lenses are more expensive and many of the times than the body, camera body itself, if it's a qualified professional lens. Many of you out there, if you ever purchased an SLR or maybe micro four third like this, definitely will understand what I say this when I say it in a second you most of the time pay more money to your couple of lenses like tele lens, maybe portrait lens, or maybe even just a general uh, zoom wide and kind of like a small zoom lens, good kit lens maybe. So you know by now, if you have experienced camera user, the price, how much the price is. And if you use any kind of like action camera, GoPro, maybe Insta360, or many of the, these cameras, they are quite small, and even that, those cameras are expensive like $399, $400, $299. So how could we expect somewhat of a price, about a $50, $70, maybe even less than, let's just say $100, $99. How can we really expect somewhat of a good picture quality out of a unit? Because it has to, it has to have like a good LCD panel, good amount of light from a LED laser or a gold light source, and also the good optic right in front of it to create a good picture quality. It cannot be done. You cannot buy for a $50 even a good quartz wristwatch. So you don't get an expectation of a good picture quality. That's a price and expectation. That could be understandable. Some people says at the comments, I'm expecting too much of a, from a cheap projector. No, I don't expect from anything from something cheap. But the problem is it can cause you a health problem in the long run. Let me explain my personal uh, experience. And then I will also talk about uh, the projector and the choices that you could make and how they will affect. I had purchased LG HS 60 LF. I rem if I remember the numbers correctly, that was LG's full HD LED projector. And it was this size. And you can go back, check the channel videos. I compare the projector side by side with this Optoma UHD 35 4K projector, how the LED is effective, how much bull projectors can give it to you or the objective difference like uh, lens difference, what could affect in the picture quality. I talked all about these topics in that video and you can back, go back and forth. I have lots of videos with that LG. I've used it around probably one, one and a half year daily basis, like a TV connected to PS4 console. And I was using it really daily basis at night, every, every night, probably one hour or 1.5, maybe even two hours watching TV and playing maybe some casual games from console and then also watching some a TV series or digital content from YouTube casting. 
So I didn't realize until the point that I was, I am not a pixel peeping guy. Although I review 4K LCD panels in my daily professional life and I'm using 4K huge monitors for daily basis. I'm a professional color grader and also video editor over 15 years. So all I can tell you, I know what kind of a pixel effect that I should expect from the quality. I also experience test OLED devices like OLED TVs and stuff, but I was not going right in front of the projector and I wasn't expecting too much. It was a $500 plus range projector. Nothing too cheap, nothing too extremely expensive, just a mid-level projector. And it was LED, LED, and I was kind of like happy with it. So, because I was casually using it, I was definitely using my 4K 65-inch TV. What happened was, after six months, when I go some different houses or open up my 4K 65-inch TV, I was seeing like sharpness problems of my TV, but I knew. My TV didn't have any sharpness problem. Like I told you, I'm a professional photo editor, video editor. So my eyes were sharp. After using it for six months, I kind of like lost the sharpness. I will show you probably around the empty space right in the screen somewhere. If you go to an eye doctor, they will show you some scales of, you know, letters and stuff. And when you go lower, the numbers and the letters are get small. And that's how they test your eye level sort of like give you a number of your eye problem, like a myop or hypermetrop kind of thing, or maybe astigmat, like kind of distortion of your lens, eye lens. So those eye problems could occur because of the lens problem most of the time. Even at the back LCD could be bad, the colors could be bad, but the picture quality at the end just created from the lens. That's why the expensive projector. This is a $1,000 projector. This is in the second hand, $20, $25, maybe even up top $40, let's just say projector. Those are even good. But if you go $50, $60, $70 cheap LED China projector, I'm not saying maybe in the future it could happen because of the cost discounts and stuff. But generally, you can't buy something good less than $100, $150 range projector. And if I test anything like that, I will let you know, but you can't buy it in the first hand at least. Maybe even second hand, you can. But if you go bulb, this is like a 10 year old probably projector. I tested it for 25 to $30. It has good optics. Like, let me just get it at least from here. It has a lens, focus, and also none of the cheap projectors tend to have focus. So their optical quality is quite low. I will later on open this projector probably, create some sort of short videos, what's inside of it, and you'll definitely get a better idea. Like I will open up the optical element and you will understand why these things expensive in the first hand, like if you buy brand new. So you will get a clear idea. But just take a look at this. This is a proper lens with a zoom function and the glass is big, not too small. So. That's why they create a good image. I'm not saying their sensor is perfect because they are old. The resolution could be low, but resolution is not the only thing for your eyesight. The optical sharpness is important. When I say this, probably I will edit and show you some picture and also try to explain what kind of problems can be occurring in this process. If you have a good optical lens, you will probably get away with less chromatic aberration and less focus problems and less focus unity, like uh, equal focus delivering from every kind of corners of your picture. Let me just summarize the subject and you will probably see something in the empty space of this video. First problem is sharpness. If you can't properly sharp, by the way, my LG had a very small distance, distance with, with the lens travel. I couldn't do it same like this. Look at this. This is a professional camera style, very long rotation. You know how much it rotates? You can see it, right? It's crazy. This is a zoom. This, uh, this is a focus and that is a zoom lever. So I have huge amount of space. 
That's why I can really see what I focus. And I can minimal, millimeter or maybe even less than millimeter make moves and really, really focus. And I can go front of my screen, big screen, and check the pixels. This is a 4K good lens. I will get into details. But if you lose the sharpness, you will probably see some sort of a halo around your images. Halo is a sharpness loss. If When you see my hand, you know how it ends. This is a sharp edge. If you can't really focus, you get a blurry, glowy effect. That's the first problem of your focus. The second problem is we call chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration is coloring, like color fringing, like purple color effect. That's another problem because of your lens. Professional lens doesn't have that much of a problem. That's why expensive projectors, this is an Optoma UHD 35, $1,000 range, a boob 4K projector, and it is 4K, 60 hertz, but it's also full HD, 240 hertz with four milliseconds of latency. This is a gamer's projector. Colors might not be perfect, but picture is sharp, and this is a price performance 4K projector. But it says on the lens, F1.98. That's why this is an expensive projector. The lens is delivering huge amount of light and also sharpness. Because when you go down with the F numbers, all the camera lenses get much more expensive. For example, this is a 2.8, F2.8 lens. And this is Panasonic GH5, 4K camera, 12 to 35 lens. And this lens costs about probably $699, $700. Let me just tell you, this is just a lens. Yes, this is an autofocus lens. This is a manual lens. And manual lens is less expensive. But let me tell you, this is a manual lens. And this is probably a fisheye f3.5 and 8 millimeter. This is like a short throw projector lens. And this is about 399 probably. So let me just summarize the topic. $400, $600, just an objective. And how, how can you expect good lens, let's just say proper at least kit lens from Panasonic or Canon, probably $150 range. If it's a fixed lens, let's just say $100 just for a lens. What about the rest? You have LEDs, power source, LCD panels, casing and stuff, and also the margin that the companies should do. How can you expect something less than a $100 can deliver it to you? So don't go cheap. Cheap projectors doesn't even use glass. They use plastic for the lens. For God's sake, just stay away from them. Those chromatic aberration and ghosting effects will kill your eyesight over the time. Yes, you're not going to get blind and you're not going to get probably huge amount of eyesight problems. But if you, even if you don't have any problems, just like me, I didn't have any problems and I can clearly read small size, very small size text from four or five meters. But after using my projector, LG Full HD, let me just clear, LG Full HD, it wasn't a pretty bad projector, but it happened to me. So when I go to the test for my, you know, driver license test for my eyesight, they told me that you can't really read the smallest text. I was early. So it occurred to me, don't use cheap projectors. You can get away with it. Right now I'm using also pretty good 4K projectors, but every projector lacks some sort of a focus. For example, ultra short throw expensive models doesn't have too much of a problem, but if you also go less than $2,000 level of projectors, ultra short throw also loses focus. So short throw projectors like fisheye lenses or custom uh, curved glass or maybe even uh, plexiglass kind of like mirror style lenses, they tend to lose focus around the corners. Lots of the projectors, they tend to project lots of the object, let's just say lenses, any lens, probably perfect in the middle, but when you go to the corners, they lose focus. So cameras tend to solve these problems with digital applications and just like a smartphone or an action camera, they tend to crop or they tend to create some sort of, when you put a picture, hit the picture button, they tend to correct these problems with the software, but your projector cannot do it. It's just delivering the picture from an LCD and it's not like a TV. It doesn't know where the screen ends. Let's just summarize this topic. 
your TV has a fixed size, so it can maybe uh, solve some problems, but it's not projecting anything. But this thing is projecting a small screen, maybe 65, 70 inch, and then it goes like 300 inches. So it cannot define where the edge and edge problems appear. So it's always delivering what this lens and the LCD behind and the LED or bulb behind just give it, gives to this device and front of your screen. I hope I've summarized this topic. Your health is important and you can't put a price tag to your health and definitely for your eyesight and your ears. Those two, maybe four, if you have two eyes and two ears, hopefully, and if you're healthy, don't, you, don't ruin your health and take good care of your health. Don't go cheap, less than $100, at least $100, $120. It's an edge for the brand new projector. But I made it a detailed explanation how you can find in the second-hand market Epson, BenQ, ViewSonic, known brands with bulb or somewhat of a different resolutions, but they have good optics and they have good amount of light power behind them and they are easy to find in the cheap second-hand market. So don't go cheap for brand new projectors, less than $100, $120, just buy something good with good glass. I hope this video teach you anything about your eyesight and your projector and how that choice could affect your health. If you learn anything, just don't forget to hit a like button and share this video as much as possible. Maybe in the beginning of the video, I told something about TVs as well. Yes, if you choose a bad TV, budget TV, side corners might, la might use the, uh, lose the uh, colors and also some kind of polarization could affect. But TVs generally with 4K resolution does not affect your eyesight. Maybe in the end of the video, one last thing comes to my mind because I'm doing these talks on the fly most of the time because of my over 20 year experience, 20 years of experience. It's also about the size. Most of the TVs we watch about 50 inch to 65, maybe even 75, but very few people is going above 85 inch. So most of the time when you go that those big sizes, you go for 8K resolution because you don't have a budget problem. But if you go less than that, you go 4K. But think about this. This is a $1,000 projector and you can project 200 inch of image. So you're, uh, you're stretching too much of image size with the same amount of resolution with your TV. 200 inch means you got uh, four 100 inch TV right so that's how big the size is with the same resolution so you're stretching too much of the same resolution that's why also creates a softness that's why also it could be affecting your eyesight if you're watching from up close or if you're watching for a long time don't watch for a long time just uh, at least give it a break between the movie scenes or tv series or gameplay and also don't use your projector over maybe one hour. If you're using it like me for daily basis, use it with a good screen. Again, buy something expensive or as much as expensive as possible or find something good and decent at least in the second hand market to take a good care of your health. For the full HD, don't go too much above 100, 120 inch if you're watching from close. For the 4K, you can project big images because it's 4K, but it depends also how close get you get, uh, how close you get to the screen. I hope this video helped, and I hope you're healthy. Don't lose your health because it's important for you and everyone around you. Hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you learn anything. Be seeing you in the next video, hopefully. Bye.